In this one, we're going to beat my personal record for running through Act 1 as a duelist. Or actually, any character, this will be the fastest. And I'm going to combine this with a 1,000 subscriber video as I reached over 1,000 subscribers at the beginning of this league, which I was really surprised at. So first a bit about this build. What are we making? I am reinventing my Bladestorm Bleed Gladiator. And the reason I'm doing that is that we got the ability to put on a fifth ascendancy. And so I'm going to add Slayer Impact. The big criticism I have of my original build is it's really good at bossing and it's really good at killing bosses. What it's not so great at is clearing. It's a bit slow at that. And that's mainly down to the area of effect of the skill. And there's no real good places in the duelist area to get extra area of effect. There's a little bit with melee damage just off to the bottom left, but it's not major. Whereas if we take a look at what impact does, it can give us up to 50% increased area of effect, which is massive. And just to note while I'm fighting Hillik, you'll notice I put bleed on him and then run around a little bit. And that causes him to kill himself by running towards me. And of course I've got a load of leveling gear to run this with as we've this isn't my first character. And you'll notice I've got the impact gems which I will use eventually. We're going to buy two axes which we're going to use to run through. Okay so first why did I decide to combine this with a leveling video instead of running a separate video? And that is because my 100 subscriber video was a car crash. If you haven't seen it Please don't watch it, although if you want to, you'll probably find it somewhere. I might even link it in the description, but it's pretty embarrassing, gotta say. Okay, so you guys sent in some questions, one of which Emilio asks, What did I do before this channel, and what European Premier League do I support? Okay, we'll do European Premier League first, because it's the easier of the two. I don't support football, and I've just never really been into it, to be honest. Okay, what else? I'm going to answer the other question, which is, what did I do before this as part of the story of this channel? The other question I got is, Andreas Patterson asked, do you like cheese and what is your favourite cheese? I love cheese. It's one of my favourite food groups. And I eat an awful lot of it, probably more than I should. My favourite has got to be Stilton. I also enjoy a good brie on bacon on toast. That is absolutely amazing food for breakfast. If you haven't tried it, you should give it a go. Just grill your bacon, slice some brie on top, between two slices of toasted bread. Oh, really, really good. Okay, story of this channel. So I started playing Path of Exile, I think it was Talisman League, and I think I quit in about Act 2, and the next league I decided I was going to try again because I'd watched some videos and the game had some complexity. And the complexity is what I really like in a game. It's not really the fact it's an ARPG. That doesn't bother me, which is probably why I don't mind playing slower characters than most, he says as he's running with a um, speed shrine on him. I completely lost my train of thought. But yes, yeah, so I decided to follow someone else's build as my first attempt didn't work and I ended up quitting the game. So I started a Mathal build, I think, and it went really well through the levelling and went horribly once I got to maps. And I think that's because Mathil builds are really good, but you've also got to be really good to play them. So that didn't work out, so I started following another guide. I can't remember who this was from, but I followed a couple that league. In fact, I pretty much just played other people's builds to try and learn the game. And all of them were far, far too expensive. I mean, ridiculously expensive to actually get into red maps. So I ended up I think getting to white or yellow maps that league, not going very far at all. And the league after that, I think I played, or started to play a build from Demi. And that was pretty strong. It was a slayer with loads and loads of leech that played Lacerate. And I really liked Lacerate. And I ended up playing this build, I think. Tried to make it my own pretty much for the whole league. So I just re-rolled it over and over again. And I built something that did bleed, and it was really strong. I ended up playing that for the whole of the league following that as well. And then I broke out into another couple of builds and really started to enjoy the building process because it kind of follows what I do for a living, which is I'm a systems architect, which is basically I design computer systems. And I also do some coding there as well. And I like solving complex problems. It's kind of what I do. And so builds are like problems just to solve. And that's really why I fell in love with this game and I can't stop playing it. 
I play a load of other really complex games as well, like um, I played EVE Online, don't play that anymore, played Satisfactory, and I also play um, Oxygen Not Included, love that game as well. Any kind of city builder, stuff like that, where you've got to solve problems, keep people alive, love that kind of game. And so I'm still doing that job, I'm just doing it now remote. And that is another reason I started this channel. So when we all got sent home from work, I think it was like March or April, we all started to work from home. And I used to go out pretty much every Thursday with the people from work. Had a couple of drinks, had some good food, it was all good. And I sort of lost my social life when we went into lockdown. And to sort of fill that void, I think, I decided, well, why don't I share some of my cheaper builds with people? And see if they resonate, see if they like them. And I've got to say, I was actually really surprised how many people have watched my videos now. The Bladestorm Gladiator is one of the best performing ones, which is why I decided to recreate it now that we've got the extra ascendancy. The extra ascendancy will not be necessary to make this build successful. It will just make it so much better at clear, making it much more hybrid than a boss killer, if that helps. Now, I did buy the jewels. They were 1.5 for one and four for another. So it's about 5.5x for the jewels for the extra ascendancy. And my early content was terrible. I got asked by somebody, or told by somebody, that it sounded like I was talking through the neck of a drowning chicken. And really, when you look back at the videos, it indicates that there's a sound problem. I was really proud of my early videos, but looking back at them now, I'm almost embarrassed. They were awful. And thank you so much for watching them. If you did, if you joined me lately, then um, hopefully the quality has improved somewhat. And if you do want to see what a car crash my original content was, go and watch some of it. Um, or don't. Actually, you shouldn't. You might just unsubscribe, which would be bad. Slow growth each league, really. I think my first video that ever got anywhere was my guide to heist. And it, in particular, the grand heist, I did a guide on that. It was about eight minutes long, and it did really well. It's the first video that did. And then I think after that, the Bladestorm Gladiator build did really, really well. And what else has done really, really well? My Endless Delve character for this last Endless Delve did really, really well. And then it really started picking up league by league. A lot of my older videos got recirculated and actually I made a bleed guide because bleed characters are something I'm really into on the grounds that I spent pretty much a whole league perfecting a bleed slayer. I did screw up some stuff. I sort of thought it double dipped. I later found out it didn't but I left the part in the video by mistake so that was bad and I once you've uploaded it you can't really pull it because then you guys would have to watch it again so I just put it in comments that it was you know slightly flawed but it's literally Two sentences in the whole video flawed. And this league I've made a lot more money than previously, so it allowed me to make this um, build again. And then I made a couple of videos on how to level a character with no gear, because every time I start a league, I'm thinking, was it really this hard? Because everything feels so much harder, because it's amazing how strong leveling gear actually is. I mean, the stuff I'm playing with now, you'll see it's slaughtering everything. That's not the case when you start with Gram. I built a couple of those, and then Tenakai... I think he's called. I hope I haven't butchered that. Actually featured one of those videos in one of his. And that video absolutely took off. And a load of people subscribed to the channel after that. And then earlier this league, I made a video on how I was making profit and how I'd sort of used my skills to diagram the league mechanic and how I was using that to make some cash. And that was extremely popular. I think it's currently on somewhere like 77,000 views, which is obscene. It has completely outweighed everything I've ever made before that. Now, the other thing as a British person you often get asked is, why do you think tea is better than coffee? And I don't. I actually can't stand tea. It's very metallic tasting and it makes me feel rather sick. Coffee is by far superior. However, not that instant stuff. That's rubbish too. It's either got to be cafetiere coffee or espresso. Into Prisoner's Gate now. And we've just got to run through here to get to the ship graveyard. I think that's the story of this channel covered, and also, yep, all the questions are done. So, we can now talk about what I think about Siege of the Atlas, and also what we're actually doing running through this act. Now, I will put on through each town what I picked up, because I have cut down a lot of the town area, and that really is a problem with the way I play this game. This video is about 15 minutes long, and yet to get to town was longer than that. And I, I haven't cut out any of the game footage apart from this little bit either side of the um, transitions into the new areas. 
quite a bit of time in town, and once I fix that, I think I'll be leveling really fast. But what do I think about this league? I really, really like the new map progression. I've never leveled the Atlas so fast because you actually get something tangible now when you complete a map bonus. Before it was just a number on a screen, now you actually get something that increases your Atlas passives and lets you build that Atlas passive tree. I also like the fact that you've got Lily Roth in your hideout. And that's because you can now use her to get skill gems. Previously, only your first character could get them or anyone who'd gone past Act 6. You had to log out your current one, go to that old one, log in, get your gems and trade them between accounts. Now your actual character just goes back to your hideouts and buys them. That is a game changer for me. It does also make the library kind of pointless. What else do I really like? Um, I like the league mechanic. It's not bad, but that's really not going to carry on beyond this league. Well, unless they put it into the main game, which they really could because it's pretty self-contained. I think the league could have been better done. The I know they've added stuff now to the interface to help you, but there really needs to be a recipe tree of some kind. It's just really, really difficult to remember what you've got to pick up. What do I like about this league? In fairness, there's not a lot not to like. The new bosses aren't great. And I still think it's too hard to get to Shaper and Elder. Because you've got to kill Uber Elder to get one of the passive trees. And I still haven't managed it. And I've killed a lot of Shaper Guardians and Shaper. The other thing is the Maven things. And I know this is sort of last league. But with the new stuff they've added on either side of her. You can end up picking that and not picking Mervail. When you're actually trying to run for Mervail things. So like I ran one of the Breach bosses. And I was on Searing Exarch, I think, so I didn't get the thing for it. And now I've got to get the fragments again or buy one. I don't like buying those things, so... That annoys me a little bit. There should be something that says, hey, you've got the thing for this. Do you want to run Mavail or not before you start your map device? Because I have wasted so many. It's my own fault. But I've never killed Mavail before, so I'm not used to it. I got six of the fragments, I just need another four. Just slow coming. I need to focus back on my main character, I think, and complete that progression. I also don't like that the league mechanic and, in fact, the map device are shared between all your characters. It's a real pain to have to re-roll your atlas each time you roll a new character. Or just try and cope with it, because, I mean, the Harbinger bosses, for instance, are really strong, and they're on there now. Now, they're not much to wipe off. But I don't have an awful lot of unmasking because I've re-rolled the Atlas an awful lot. I think they should drop slightly more frequently. And that is really it. Okay, let's talk about what we're actually doing in this game. We're currently running towards Mavail. Um, and there's the door. And we're about to kill her. Hopefully. Now, if you do struggle with this, get some resistance rings. You can make them with an iron ring and then a blue gem because she's mostly cold. But we're basically just going to put our totem down so she, hopefully she hits that instead of us. And then we're going to hit her with Impale. And don't forget to use the grenade because I'm not using it here and I really should have done. And I think she's about to phase. That's it. She is down for the first phase. Second phase is coming up. Um, life and mana is okay. Now something keeps going wrong, and I think it's because I've got my um, aura on the bottom row, and it should be in the middle mouse button so I don't accidentally knock it on and off. Because that is really annoying. And trying to move it while you're fighting is quite difficult. I know some people have mastered it, but not me. So I'm sorry if this video is a bit waffly or... I... Yeah. I'm sorry if this video is a bit waffly or I'm repeating myself a bit, but um, I wanted to try and get this as naturally as possible, so I haven't scripted it. Normally my videos would be scripted. And she's down. Okay, running through the area up to Act 2. I think this is actually classed as Act 2, um, but we don't need to kill anything in here unless it's blue. And just run up and through. And we did it in 21 minutes and 46 seconds. Which is much faster than my previous attempt at about 24 minutes. And with that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.